better bring your walking shoes if you plan to spend the day with Denny Labanchnik, president of Denny Ford Lincoln Mercury in Rolla, Missouri. One moment, he's ringing the bell and raising money for the Salvation Army. He's a piece of work. I mean, a piece of work. Man. There's no other way to say it. Okay. Uh, we got it. We the got next it. moment, he is personally loading up a truck with donations for a local food bank. To hear the name Denny Labanchnik, he's the owner of the Ford dealership in Rolla. I was kind of nervous. Called me by the first name, came down personally. I mean, I was assuming I would see um, some of his workers show up with the food. And last year, he was here himself delivering the food in one of his trucks. One of the things that I really enjoyed through life is helping other people. I mean, this, this started, started back when I was in, in Cub Scouts and Boy Scouts and so on and so forth. And, and I always thought if I ever got in a position that I could help larger amounts of people, I would do it. For 19 consecutive years, Denny has promoted a food drive called Phil Ford's for the Holidays. It started with just two pickup trucks full of food and non-perishable items. It's happened over the years. We progress now this year, of course, is 21 pantries, and we want to fill 42 Fords, two loads per pantry. And, uh, you know, it has expanded uh, tremendously, and so has the, the uh, good feeling of everybody here at Denny Ford Lincoln Mercury because everybody's thrilled to work in it. In 2007, Denny picked up a load of donated food at the B.W. Robinson State School for severely handicapped children. It changed his life. Well, Denny came. It was the first time he'd ever been in the school. And uh, he just, you know, it was a wonderful moment. I mean, he just fell in love with us and we fell in love with him. And um, so, you know, we filled an entire, one of those big Fords uh, with food. And uh, he started coming back. and. Uh, came to our Christmas party and, and really got to know the kids as individuals. Are you going to show me how to operate the computer? Okay, show me what you're doing here. Once you're here, you get hooked. I mean, it just, it just, it, it's like it gets injected into your veins and you, you, you just can't get it off your mind. I, the first time I walked in, I literally went on a lot and cried. I said, my gosh, I, I am blessed. I am truly blessed. I want to help these folks. He's very genuine. It, it, it's his whole personality, his whole self, you can tell he gives to the children. He cares. And I think, like with this young little girl, she responded because they know. They pick up. They're able to pick up when people care. During his initial visit, Denny noticed the school playground was old and needed updating. He immediately stepped up and enlisted the help of community organizations and residents to raise the necessary money for an accessible, safe, and fun play area. The day when he, we had that ribbon cutting on that first section, we rolled all the kids out, and they were all outside, and they were just waiting for that, for the cut the ribbon so that they could run onto the playground. What an exciting day. Words kind of describe the feeling that you get when you see those kids just wanting to get on that playground and playing and playing and playing. It, it truly is an experience of life. Denny, you really bring new meaning to the phrase hands-on. From ringing the bell for the Salvation Army, an organization that I know is so important for the needy in the community, to your fill of Ford for the holidays food drive for local shelters your willingness to do whatever it takes to help those in need is very heartwarming. Your personal involvement and commitment have made a tremendous impact in your community and on the lives of so many people. You are a true humanitarian, and it's a great honor to present the Salute to Dealers Award to you.